The sidebar panel has been simplified and modernized and now houses everything in the main panel. You can still find the various settings governing default behavior here as before. Tools and utilities have been consolidated into a single sub-panel, though each retains its own sub-sub-panel within. The creation panel was previously a dedicated separate panel and is now just a toggleable sub-panel. Below it, you can now find dedicated sub-panels for decal creation, trim sheet creation, and atlas creation, replacing the previous tabbed layout, and it's the same for the export panel, where you can find sub-panels for decal baking and atlas export. The Asset Update panel by default only contains a single sub-panel used to update a specific decal or trim sheet library at any location. However, if the installed assets in your asset location can be updated or fixed, then an additional sub-panel becomes available. A button in the header will indicate this by turning red, even if the panel is deactivated. Also, if the current blend file contains legacy decals, then the button will also indicate this and will be drawn in red accordingly. The Update Current Blend Files subpanel becomes available in that case. Example files and a link to third-party decal packs were moved from the Help panel to the new Dedicated Resources subpanel. And finally, the Help button then toggles the Get Support and Documentation subpanels accordingly, just like in all my other add-ons now. I have a dedicated video on the new decal bake demo, and maybe you didn't know it yet, but there are a number of other example files too. There is the basic decal demo, as well as the decal creation example file, as well as the decal demo asset here. Then there is the trim sheet geometry example and the trim sheet creation demo, and finally the trim sheet demo asset as well. That's a lot of demos and examples.